In this video, we're going to find all natural numbers a, b, and c, such that a divides b, c minus 1, b divides c, a minus 1, and c divides a, b minus 1, all at the same time. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. The reason that I say that this is a generalized version of, the, of a problem in BMO round 1 is that the problem actually was about prime numbers only. But in fact, I can simply remove this condition and generalize the whole, whole problem to natural numbers. So let's see how I'm going to solve the problem. So I'm going to approach this problem in kind of um, a brute force way, which is just to divide into cases and just um, bash it up. So uh, the first case is that I'm going to assume um, when at least two of the variables are equal. So if at least two of a, b, c are equal, then of course by symmetry I can let a equals b. So if I replace this b to be a, then I will have a divides a, c minus 1. Not b, c minus 1, but this time it's a, c minus 1. So then we have a divides minus 1. And that means a must be 1. Now if both a and b are 1, so we can say that c divides 1 minus 1, which is 0. Well, that means there is actually no restriction on the value of c because any natural number will divide 0. 0 is just equal to 0 times multiplied by the natural number. So clearly, all natural numbers divide 0. So that means I can say that this is an ordered pair and of course we have its permutations. So now we move on to the second case which is that A, B and C are distinct. And of course, we can try to um, arrange the order. So I can say that with the loss of generality, I have A to the largest, and then B, and then C. Now, if C is 1, then I will have A to divide B minus 1. Not B, C minus 1, but now A to divide B minus 1. But this is absurd because A is the largest number. And we are now saying that this largest number is going to divide a small number minus 1, an even smaller number. So that's impossible. So that therefore, we can't even have the smallest number to be 1. And therefore, we must have this order and all these numbers to be greater than 1. Now afterwards, we can move on to general case. To handle the general case, I'm going to look at the symmetry on the free relate divisibility relations, which is that I met uh, the alphabets, the variables are actually following a cyclic order. So starting from A, I'm moving to B, and afterwards B is moving to C, and C is moving to A. So I'm following this order and going on to the next relation, B moving to C, and so on. So to make uh, to make use of the symmetry, I multiply all the relations and I have, in general, we have ABC, the divisor, to divide AB minus 1, multiplied by BC minus 1, multiplied by CA minus 1. All these things multiply together. Then ABC would then divide A squared, B squared, C squared minus A squared, B C minus b squared ac minus c squared ab plus ab plus bc plus ca and the constant term multiplied to give minus 1. Just to share with you a quick way to multiply these expressions is that whenever you see a term in this form a squared times bc and that's obtained by say multiplying ab and ca then you know that terms of similar shape should appear which is that 
What if the square variable is not A, B instead? Say this one is B instead. And then the other two letters will multiply by this square together. So we have B squared times the other two variables, which are AC. And similarly, I can say the third variable C squared should also multiply by A and B. So that's how we speed up our expansion. Afterwards, I can say the first four terms can be factorized by taking the common factor ABC and the rest at the end. And I can remove ABC into this. So having reached this inequality, not, not this inequality, but a divisibility relation, I can actually set up an inequality because I know that ABC can get very large very easily and AB plus BC plus CA has a very large chance to be smaller than ABC. So I'm going to consider the inequality instead of divisibility. After all, we can check at the end. Then, when we see this, I'm going to make use of the smallest variable, which is C. So I'm going to move all terms relative to C to one side. And take out C as a common factor. Now the reason that I take this step is that because I know C is the smallest and C is greater than 1, so I take C to be at least 2, and this inequality, in fact, creates the smallest difference. So you know that A is the largest number, and the inequality that you can create by considering the fact that A is larger than 2 does not really help because this information is too obvious, and it does not create any um, meaningful inequalities that can reduce the number of possibilities to, con to be considered. So with this kind of a tighter inequality, the one labeled in blue, I can say that therefore, maybe I use the other, another color, is that 2 times AB minus B minus A is at most AB minus 1. Now, when we're trying to solve this, AB minus 2B minus 2A plus 1 is less than or equal to 0. I'm going to add some numbers on both sides to make um, left-hand side factorizable. And so now with this inequality, I can say that the product It's either 3 or 2. In fact, it cannot be 1 because if the product is 1, then both of A minus 2 and B minus 2 have to be 1. And so um, this will contradict the, equal the inequality of A and B. So that means A minus 2 and B minus 2 has to be 3 or 2. And so we have 3, 1 or 2, 1. And that means A, B are either 5 and 3 or 4 and 3. Now we can check both cases. Because B is 3 and we know that we have to recall that we have this inequality. So if this is 3 then all we can have for C is 2. And in fact we have 2 divided 5 times 3 minus 1, 5 divides 2 times 3 minus 1, and 3 divides 2 times 5 minus 1. So it's a take. And for A, B to be 4, 3, again, C has to be 2. But 2 does not divide 4 times 3 minus 1. So therefore, the only ordered pairs 
are 5, 3, 2, 1, 1, t, where t is a natural number and is permutations. So that's our final answer. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to suggest any alternatives in the comments. If you like my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now. Thank you for your support. See you next time.